In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and optimize the popular torrent client Qubit Torrent on your Rapid Seedbox. Once you get into the user interface using your secure URL through your client area, you can see this is a rather simple to use interface. Right here in this section, you will be able to see all of your currently active torrent clients. And this is pretty standard through most torrent clients like Deluge and RU Torrent. So we're used to seeing this area here. Um, if you need to get up to the menu to start adding torrents, you can go up to the file menu, add torrent, add torrent link, and that'll be your normal copy and paste method from your websites using a magnet. You also have the option to press control O on your keyboard. That'll bring up an option menu to um, upload torrents from your desktop. You can additionally drag torrents into this user interface area here, and that will start and begin torrents as well. Another question a lot of you might have is, how do I optimize for speed? How do I change my web UI password? Are there options to do this within the GUI? Yeah, of course. Right up here in Tools, we go to Options, and then we go to Speed. Pretty nifty to just have a speed button. I like that. Now what we can do is we can adjust some of our limits here. And going up and down will make your torrents either faster or slower. That is completely up to you. But what I suggest that you do, especially if you're one of our lean users, is schedule using this option right here. Sometimes during the day, there are more torrent users than other times during the day. And if you can kind of pinpoint exactly where you're at in that slot, it would be wise to try and limit your torrents, especially if you might be worried about hitting peaks or uh, bandwidth limits. This would be a good option for you. If you need to change your web UI password, it's recommended that you do that through your client area or asking a support agent through the chat window below. What you can also do is click on the web UI password here, and if you need to change anything like your web UI access you are your web UI IP address, you can do that from here. You can change your port number, anything that you need to do, especially your username and password as well here. So let us know if there's anything else that we can do for you. Um, that's basically it.